it's Karen again from the Little Egg Hatchery. Um, as I told you earlier in the video before today that I would bring you back tonight and would, we would go through the candling process after your eggs have been in your incubator for um, at least three days. So that's what the process where we are. These have been about four days um, with some of the ones we're going to look at. And um, so, but first I have to tell you right now we are running off of this flashlight here that my husband um, got for outside use. And um, right now it's on bright and we're on dim. And then that's even dimmer, but the light we're going to use, I'll show you in just a minute. Um, this light you don't want to see. This one means we need help. <laughs> so hopefully we don't have to use that one at any point. But what I do, if you can zoom in for me, Miss Rayleigh, um, this is the light, the candlelin light that my husband got for me off of Amazon. I don't know how much it costed and um, I didn't ask. All I know is he loved me enough and thought about me to do it, so I'll take it. But, however, I usually do ask about things, but I was so excited that um, I just wanted something that I could use. This um, Nutririte 360 machine here, it actually has a candle and light on it, but not to what I like. I want to be able to see my chicks really good. So we're going to start out with a few eggs that, um, just a couple that what we've looked at already. I've kind of been through them. And to be honest with you, I started the video and I cut it off really quick because in the process of trying to see the candling, um, it fell off my light and I had to cry for a second. So, um, and clean that up. That was very heartbreaking because there was definite formation and it was my first Australorp egg that I had gotten that was fertile. So anyways, we're going to start with um, cutting this one out and cutting this one on. Now it's fixing to get real scary. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm, okay, so first we're going to look at one of our silky eggs and um, my daughter is working the camera because as I try to do it the way I normally do my videos by phone, I cannot zoom in and I could not get it to show up um, what I was trying to get you to see. So she's going to help me um, in zooming in in the times that we need it so that you can see what we're trying to show you. So this is, as you can see, is a very bright light in my kitchen area here um, just to be able to see through these eggs. But it's perfect because if you can see right there, Rayleigh, can you zoom in on that to be able to see how good that is? This is my husband's writing. He meant to write March the 14th, but he wrote February, and it's okay. He was trying to help me out. But this was an egg from our Black Silky, and if you look at it, um, all you really see is a yolk. Can you see that really clearly, the mm -hmm. yolk in the egg? Yeah. Rayleigh's going to try to get this right for me. Can you see it good? Yeah. So there's no veinage. There's no visible... Um, blood vessels or anything in there. There's no formation. So this one is a no-go, okay? Um, so that one will not make it. It should have only made it to the frying pan probably, but you know, I always have hope for any chicken I can. And if you'll look at this one, this one was one of our silkies um, that we mixed in with one of our pink silkies and trying to see what we could get out of that. And this one is just joke also, if you can see that. Um, there is no, again, no vessels or anything. So I already know we can't see in these others that I have here on the table. Um, can't see anything in those. Those are um, olive egg colors. It's, um, one is a, a very dark green and you can't really see anything in there, but, um, well, hold up. I can't tell. Um, it almost kind of looks like there might be some veinage in it now this time around. So I may put this one back in the incubator just to be sure. Um, it's hard to tell with the darker eggs. As you can see right here, this is one of our comet eggs. And again, this is just a yolk. There is no vessels anywhere um, on that at all. So that is also a no-go. This is another darker one, um, and you can clearly see that there is a yolk. 
it's very hard to see if there's vessels in there. I may give this one another little bit of time also. This one's dark. This was a sex link and comet mix. And um, all I can see in this is a yoke. Again, there is no vessels at all. So these are no good. Now here's where the fun starts. Rayleigh, you're gonna have to really zoom in on this probably to be able to see. I do, um, can you see the light right here perfectly? Yeah. Okay, because I do not want another mishap to happen like then. That broke my heart and it took me a few minutes to compose myself to be able to come back on. So, um, all, all of God's creation is um, precious to me and life is um, a beautiful thing, even for my little chickies. All right, so I'm gonna start with one that I know, um, you'll see an X mark on it, but I'm hoping that you're actually gonna be able to see the veinage and the chick itself because it is very um, pro prolific in there. You can see it. Raise okay, Rayleigh, um, if you could zoom in really good, I want you to actually be able to see I'm turning it. Um, and I want you to see right here and just watch it, get it as close as you can if you have to take it out of the iPod for a minute. Um, can you see it moving? You should be able to actually see it moving. There you go. Can you get it closer I'll to cut it? that part out. Nope, you don't have to. Can you see it moving in there? Yeah, a little. All right, try to get it to focus right oh, on yeah, there. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You can see it moving? Mm -hmm. And that's so cool. And then I'm gonna turn it slowly. And then right up in here is where you're gonna see a lot of the veins. And this is the blood vessels. Again, I, I said I call it veins. I worked in medical for many, many years and it's veins to me, but this is blood vessels and those are what feeds him. So he is viable and he is uh, moving and kicking around. So that is great. He is going back in. And then I have another. You're gonna want to keep doing that probably, really. Um, this one is kind of this one i really feel like is the death ring but i'm going to give it a little bit longer to make sure that i can see it for sure but there is a dark red circle line that you can kind of see it's formed the up uh, the way like this here that's usually the death ring um like it did not make it but as i said i don't give up easily on my chicks I'm going to give it a little bit longer, but can you see that formation of the line there? However, this is why I give them a little bit longer. Can you see the black spots right here? That's part of a check. Now, can you see it moving any? Yeah. Then that means it's still alive and that is not a death circle. And this is why I continue to look and I wait a little longer. Um, so if you can see it moving, he is not dead. He is alive. Okay. So, um, here's another one. Let's check this one out. Oh, yeah. You can see him really good, too. Let's get the camera right so that you can see well. Can you zoom it in? It needs to be zoomed in because I want you to be able to see. Look at the coloring in that. Can you see the veins or the vessels? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to turn it slowly. And you can see the vessels all up in here just running down. But the chick itself, you can see the darker area where it's filling up. And here's the chick itself. And you can see right here, if you watch up in here, you should be able to see it move. See it moving around? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I tap a little just to get him moving a little but he is moving around in there he's probably trying to sleep it's kind of late it's past many of our bedtimes but look at all that veinage in there or the vessels okay so that's another good one and let me see this is one of our white silkies i believe 
it looked like it's just like from right here it looks like it's just a yoke right but now if you can get past the white silky written on there by my husband you can literally see some red veinage or vessels in there can you see it can on there can you zoom in and see zoomed in all the way okay so there are some you may not be able to see it um, it is harder to tell with the dark light. But we're going to keep that one because that one is um, fertile. And this one um, is, you can see the whole little chick right there. Can you see that, Rayleigh? You got it yeah, in good? Yeah, you can see it. So you can see the outline of him. I can't see because of the way I'm sitting um, if he's actually moving. So let me see. Rayleigh, got to hold it. Still not um, as bright as I'd like for it to be. Um, and I don't want to pick it. There you go. Should I get it right up in there? Oh, did you see it move though? Yeah. See, so it is movement in there. He's moving around, which is a great sign. And if you can see right there, you can see the whole outline of him with his um, sack. So, let's see. Let me put that back. So anyways, that's all I'm going to do for right now on that. But don't pause yet because I do have another surprise. I have an egg, a duck egg, that is actually starting to um, move around in a different incubator. Um, I do have them removed to a different one because, um, let me grab these eggs, because I was um, thinking probably shouldn't but I was reading up on it a while ago and it looks like it very well could be um oh no I just put the ones that nothing was in back in didn't I I will recheck them in a little bit oh well I, I just need to get the temperature back going and the humidity right on this one and it'll take just a second it won't take long so hang tight for just a second I'm coming over here with the duck egg so Since this one is the one that's been moving, I'm going to see if we can get a good piping, or not piping, but a good picture of this one. So you're going to have to hold it down, really. It's going to be very hard to see. Can you see how dark it is? You can't see it all. Huh? You can't see nothing at all. Okay. So do I need to move it back up or what? Because he is moving in there. Can you see him? I'll tell you what I will do for a second here. Let me take that away. Does that help you to see any better? Yeah. Okay. So you can see right there, this is a muscovoy duck is what we were told. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of, um, you can see, they say you should be able to see where his beak is and right there is where his beak is. And that is where it looks like he's already done some internal piping is, or pipping is what they call it. So that is where he will be coming out um, of his shell. But if you watch, see him move? Watch. The egg has been twisting back and forth. So I don't know how much longer it'll be. Up, oh, see him moving in there? Yeah. So it won't be much longer before he comes out. So if you hold on a second, I'm gonna grab the other two and we'll check them because I have not checked them. I haven't seen the movement in them like I did the others. And I know we're more talking about chickens lately, but I do want to keep a check on my ducks too. So this next one, we're going to look at it real quick and just see if we have a good viable source here. Okay. So this one is, um, wow. Like I see no light hardly at all in this one. Oh, here we go. Let's got to do it the right way. Okay, so let's see if we see movement in this. Um, he is going to take a little bit longer to come out, most likely. Um, if you looked at the other one, it didn't have quite as much air sac. Um, and I don't see movement in this one right off. Not to say that it's not but i don't even see like where his beak is right now so he hasn't started the process 
of it even trying to come out and um, I'm hoping that he is um, still alive in there because it is harder to tell with the duck eggs. I've never done duck eggs and they are very uh, more sen they're more sensitive number one and number two their temperatures have to be so much different than from chicks because of how much air they take in uh, let's see if I've got it on the right end here we go you can see his little web foot some there you see the little toes from this web foot and unless that is his beak where he's starting to pipe a little but his body is definitely taken over a lot of the eggs so he may come a little it looks more like his beak may be over this way I'm not 100% sure again I've never done duck eggs um, so this is going to be very interesting for me um, I'm just trying to see if I even see any movement in there right now because they have not been turning at all. We've been keeping them, so you obviously you can't see anything that way. So let's see if I see any movement at all. And it may be that we only get one good viable one out of it. I hope at least one, um, but praying we get all of them. It looks like there is some shadow and moving in there, maybe. Um, but can't say for sure. So I'm gonna put that one back, and that's the last duck egg that I have. So right now, I'm gonna cut my big old outside light on. So let's see. I don't want to use up my my precious one, so let's cut back on. The big light and cut this one off and we can cut it actually a little bit lower and um, again this one that we're using now is the nurture right 360 and if you can look at this a little bit Rayleigh can you get it yeah. on this okay so it's got your numbers it does your countdown when I mess press the menu button um, it will show that we have 11 days left for the eggs that are in here, which is not exactly true. That's how many days is left for the ones on the inside circle. Uh, we went ahead and refilled the outside circle on that. So that is done for that. And we are on the right temperature, getting close to it because I've had it open for a little bit. And the humid humidity is correct. It's right. And you have to make sure this thing is on lockdown good. Otherwise, our other eggs are, um, they are in the incubator and they should be ready for us to check in about three days for candling. And maybe we'll have a better process down by then as to be able to get it on video um, for you and do that. So I just, again, want to remind you to um, find us on Facebook um, on the Little Egg Hatchery. You can find us there with our videos and you can also find us on YouTube. I'm sorry I'm having to read this. We are on a playlist for Will's World and you'll have to put it under podcast and audio channel when you type in Will's World and we will be on his, one of his playlists. So we are um, on his show also, so you can find us there. And then you can also go to his page if you would like and that is um, Will's World, the way we see it with Will and Luke. So try to find us there, but um, you should also be able to find us on YouTube under the little um, egg hatchery and see what you can find. And please, please subscribe, please like, please comment, please share, um, get the word out there. We are a new little hatchery here in the Corinth Holder Zebulon area and um, we are ready for business and we have been having business and we want it to grow and that's why we're hatching our own eggs. So if you have any questions, concerns, comments, if you I miss something you have more questions about or you have more knowledge about, please send it to us. And again, please like our page, um, comment on our page, um, leave reviews. That is exactly what we're needing. And I do appreciate it. And we enjoy doing this. And tonight was 
a little bit of a doozy because I lost the baby and that breaks my heart. But um, we will do more videos um, as weather permits outside and we'll start to show you our flock outside. Um, and then we'll go and check on the process of our babies. Um, and then we'll go through the feeding process, what we use and you know, um, how we start training our babies to be friendly, um, come to you and not be like so wild. Um, by giving them their treats and what kind of treats you can give them. So there is so much that we're learning and so much that um, we will be glad to share with you. And um, if you have something to share with us, please put it on our page. All right, um, if you have any other questions or you want to buy any eggs um, fertilized or you want to buy some baby chicks, um, just hit us up. You can also find us um, or email us, I apologize, at the little egg hatchery at yahoo.com. And you can send an email to us in any way, shape, or form. That, um, and we will comment back to you or let you know. We are in the process of getting um, merchandise. Um, we just are finishing getting our logo made. And so we will be a full-blown business soon, um, which is what we're trying to do. So any um, support or ideas, please feel free to send them this way. Again, don't forget to go to YouTube, to Will's World and um, the audio and podcast and like them comment share um, find us under their link and also go to facebook to the little egg hatchery and find our link and you'll see all of our cute not all of our cute babies because i haven't gotten to them but we're going to be doing new photo shoot soon and you'll be there with me for that too all right y'all have a great night thank you